Here's a short explanation of the game Parks. The game from Keymaster Games is for one to five players, ages 10 and up. The average game time is about 40 to 70 minutes, with the objective of the game to score the most points by visiting parks and taking photos. Here's what's in the box. The board, two token trays, which hold each type of tokens, forest, sunshine, mountain, water, and the wilds. 48 park cards, 12 year cards, 36 gear cards, 15 canteen cards, 10 season cards, 9 solo cards for the solo playing game, 10 trail sites, 1 trail head and trail end, 10 hikers, 5 campfires, 1 camera, the first hiker marker, and 28 photo tokens. To set up, place the board in the center of the playing area. Place the two trays on the opposite sides of the board. Take the parks cards and shuffle them. Place them face down on the area of the board marked for them. Take the top three cards and place them face up in these slots here. Shuffle the gear cards. Place them face down in the area marked for the gear cards. Take the top three cards and place them face up in these slots here. Shuffle the canteen cards. Deal one canteen face up to each player. Place the rest face down in the slot on the board like this. Shuffle the year cards. Deal two cards to each player face down. The rest of the cards can go back into the box. Players may look at these two cards, but not reveal them to the others. They choose one of the two cards as their personal objectives for the game for scoring points. The card they do not keep is returned to the box. Shuffle the season cards and place it face down on the section of the board like this. Flip over the top card and place it on top of the deck. Next, we'll set up the trail. First, find the trailhead piece and place it to the lower left side of the board. Next, go through the trail tiles. Find the tile that looks like this. This tile is only used for a four or five player game. If you're playing a four or five player game, add this tile in with the tiles that have the tent in the lower right corner. Speaking of those tiles, collect them together and place them to the side for a moment. Next. Find the other tiles that have a star on them. Now shuffle the tiles with the star, place them face down and off to the right side of the board. Draw the top one and place it in with the other tiles which have the tents. Now shuffle these tiles together. Once shuffled, lay the trail out like this. Once the trail is laid out, Place the trail end tile. Each player chooses a color and collects their two hikers and corresponding campfire. Place the campfire lit side up in front of you and place your two hikers on the trailhead tile. Select a player to be first and give them the first hiker token. The player to the right of the first player will receive the camera. The game is played over four rounds or seasons. Before the play of the season can begin, you must set up the season's weather patterns for the season. Look at the season card on the top of the season's deck and see this pattern. Starting with the second trail tile, place the appropriate token on each tile moving to the right, continuing the pattern until you've reached the trail end. The season card will also list any special conditions that will be in effect for that round. Now we're ready to begin. Starting with the player who has the first hiker marker and going to the left, players will take their turns. On a player's turn, they can move one of their two hikers to any of the tiles going along the trail, keeping in mind that you can only go in one direction. So once you pass a point, 
there is no going backwards. When a player places their hiker, they can take the action of that tile. They must be able to take the action in order to land there. If they cannot, they must choose to go to a different place. If you are the first player to come to a location where there is a token, you can collect that token into your inventory. If you land on any one of these tiles, you will also collect the appropriate token from the tray and add those to your inventory. The other trail tiles will allow you to do other actions. This tile will allow you to exchange one of your inventory tokens for one wild token. This tile will give you a choice between collecting a new canteen or you can pay two tokens from your inventory to take a picture. If you do this, place your tokens back into the tray and collect one photograph. This picture is worth one victory point at the end of the game. If you take a picture, you also collect the camera from whichever player who has it. If you are in possession of the camera and you land on this space, you can take the picture for only one token from your inventory. This tile will allow you to exchange one of your tokens in your inventory for any different type of token except for the wilds. You can do this up to two times when landing here. This tile will allow you to pay one water token and then you can duplicate any other tile action where a hiker is already in place. This tile will allow you to reserve or visit a park or by gear. We will cover more about that in just a few minutes when we cover the trail end tile. When spending your tokens, wilds can be used in place of any other token. They cannot, however, be used for filling canteens. You are only allowed to have 12 tokens in your inventory. If you surpass that, Choose which tokens you do not wish to keep and return them to the tray. If there is already another hiker on the trail where you wish to go, it is possible to visit there so long as your campfire is lit. If you land where another hiker is, you need to flip over your campfire to the extinguished side. You will not be allowed to land in any occupied trail until your campfire is relit your campfire is only relit when one of your hikers reaches the trail end. Before we get into the end of the trail, let's talk about canteens. On a turn, when you collect any water tokens, if you wish, rather than place it into your inventory, you can use them to fill up one of your canteens. Each canteen has a different ability when filled. Some will allow you to collect other tokens, exchange tokens, or even visit a park. You can use this ability when you first fill the canteen. The water stays in that canteen until the end of the round. At the end of the round, all water is removed from the canteens and returned to the trays. When you move your hiker to the trail end, you have three options to choose where you will place it. The top row is the reserve a park row. If you are the first player to place your hiker here, you collect the first hiker marker. You will go first in the next round. Also, by coming to this space, you are allowed to reserve a park. You can choose one of the three face-up park cards. You take that card and you place it in your area horizontally. This indicates that you have only reserved the park no other players can get it. But you have not paid for the visit yet. A reserved park at the end of the game, which has not been paid to visit, scores zero points. The bottom row is for visiting a park. If you choose to go here, you select one of the three face-up cards or one of the cards that you have reserved and pay the appropriate costs. Costs are located here on the card. Once you pay the costs, collect the card and place it vertically in your playing area. This indicates that you have visited, and any visited parks at the end of the game 
will score this amount of victory points. In either case, any time a card is removed from this area, replace it immediately with the next card from the top of the deck. The third option at the end of the trail is to buy gear. Gear cards can provide different abilities that will be useful during the game, such as providing discounts on visiting parks, or filling canteens, or earning extra tokens. If you choose this option, pick one of the three face-up gear cards, pay the costs located here, and then collect the card and add it to your play area. In a two or three player game, the first player to arrive here will get a one sunshine token discount on whichever gear they choose. In a four or a five player game, the first and the second player to arrive here will also get the discount. Once a gear card is purchased, replace it immediately with the next card from the deck. So a reminder that if you land on this tile during a round, you can do any of these actions as if landing on the trail end. When a player has both hikers at the end of the trail, they are done for that round and play will continue, skipping them until all of the players have completed the trail. When there is only one hiker remaining on the trail, on their turn, they must move to the end of the trail. If one player has both of his hikers on the trail and all other players are done, that player can continue until they put one hiker on the trail end. Then the second hiker must follow. Once all hikers are at the end of the trail, the season ends. The player who has the camera at this time may, if they choose, to pay one token to take a photograph. Now, move all of the hikers back to the start. Remove all of the water from the canteens and place them into the trays. Collect all of the trail tiles. Take one of the star trail tiles and add it in with the others. Shuffle the tiles and lay out a new trail for the next season. Discard the previous season card. Flip over a new season card. Make note of any new conditions for that season and also the weather pattern. Remember to lay out the tokens starting with the second tile all the way to the trail end. Now play starts for the next round and play is the same as it was before. Continue to repeat all of these steps until the end of the fourth season. At the end of the fourth season, it's time to do the scoring. Players now total the amount of park cards that they have visited. They add in how many pictures that they took. Each picture is worth one point. They tally their personal objective points that they were able to complete. The player who has the first player marker also scores one point. And the player with the highest score is the winner. If there happens to be a tie, the player who visited the most parks is the winner. Now, it's time to grab your gear and sing Happy Trails! Let's play!